Hi, today I'm doing a painting over an old painting with the resin left over from a previous video. Oh my god, I have sand. If I'm sanding this board, I have like the dust all over me. I look like a homeless person, I swear. I was working in my yard today. I, uh, I'm a mess. Okay, so I mixed my black up. I am using art resin. Just so you know, guys, I forgot to tell you everything. I know, I'm using a 12 by 12 board. Just putting some black on here. Want some black around my edge. I have some clear that I'm going to throw on here. Sometimes with the clear you can get a 3D effect going. Put the clear on first and then put your colors on top. You get that deep 3D look. It is so cool looking. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. Now I'm going to heat this up a little bit before I put my other colors on there. This is going to help pop the bubbles. Heat the resin up a little bit so it moves around. I want that clear resin like everywhere. I don't know why I say resin. It's resin, but I, for some reason every time I say it, it comes out resin. Resin? Resin? I don't know. It's like one of those words. I think everybody has one that they can't say properly. That's me. Okay, so this is heated up real good. Oh, shoot. What did I do? Okay. That's going to keep running as it cools. I have a little bit of red left from my last painting. I'm going to mix that in with the black. bit of orange very very little bit of orange apparently trying to scrape it all up oh I got something big on here I think something yep plastic or something weird <sighs> never know what you might find in your resin okay yellow now we got a little bit more yellow than we do all the other colors which is a good thing But not least, white. Where is my tongue depressor? Damn, who, what do I do with stuff? I mean, really, I got like 15 tongue depressors in front of me. I can't find my white one. I don't know, whatever. Let's grab another one. Now, my white. black there. I didn't want black there. Okay. So I'm going to heat this up, move it around, and hopefully something good comes out of it. Okay. Now 
Now I keep these little paper towel things with, I drown them in alcohol and that helps like get the resin off your gloves. So you don't have to change your gloves like every two minutes. But it costs a fortune. Good and hot so I can move it around. So basically what happens is this heat gun becomes my paintbrush. stuff with this heat gun, believe me. You can give it texture by getting real close and pulling away. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Mix and blend. And sometimes when it doesn't blend enough, you got to get in there and get dirty. I think I have a little bit too much white there or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm not loving that. It's like all the, the, what the hell? There's so much shit in this thing. All the resin fell in the center. I think this canvas is a jinx. That's what happened with my last painting I did on this canvas. It all fell in the center, which is quite strange. I mean, they all do when you work with a canvas, but this one, for some reason, has like a, a pit right there. So, I didn't want this to happen, but it did. So we gotta work with what we got, right? I got one hell of a mess. I love this right here. I don't love any of this. So, I'm going to torch it and see if I can get some other kind of thing going on here. I'm going to let this just run off. I don't know what to do about it at this point. It's piled up right there. There's something wrong with this canvas. And then I have a big old bubble right there. Yeah, this canvas is like warped or something. That's why I don't like working with canvases. No, I don't. Well, if this doesn't look good when it's cured, I'm probably gonna throw this one away. Hope for the best, cross my fingers and my toes. So I hate wasting resin, but it's still moving. It's probably going to move for a while. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. I'm going to bring the camera closer. What's the matter, Dookie? Okay, so it's definitely not one of my best videos, but I thought it had some really cool effects that I wanted to share with you. I actually wasn't even going to post this video, but after I saw the finished product, and 
um, the effects that I got. I thought it was pretty interesting, so here it goes. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate all y'all watching. Thanks so much. Come on, Duke. Ready to go? Come on. Let's go. Come on.